Well, we got to talk about some news here, Dave. And you had a tweet the other day that everyone's been talking about. And, of course, you're in Hawaii, not addressing it. So now's your chance. What am I supposed to say? The, um, I mean, here, here's, the, here's the basic gist. That, um, um, you know, about a month ago or so, you know, a month ago, I mean, WWE is trying to shop around Raw. And one of the people that they were trying to shop to, obviously, I mean, they're, you know, you know, we know it's Amazon Prime and, and WBD and uh, Disney for most likely FX. And, you know, even talk of, uh, what was the other one? Um, but those, you know, those were some of the, the key people that they were trying to shop to. Perhaps USA, you know, going for Raw. Um, they're trying to get. I mean, they would like to get close to four hundred million. I don't think they're going to get four hundred million for it, but they're shopping it around. And you know, WBD obviously being one of them, and, and WBD seemed to be dead. And it's not dead, you know. I mean, that's I guess the basic thing with Punk there and everything like that. It's not dead, and it's not like people should go in and go, "Oh my God," you know, this and that with AEW. I mean, there's no way of knowing anything more other than. You know, they did have a meeting, and there is, you know, it's not dead. That's all. And uh, WWE, as far as the Raw deal, I mean, the, the talk is that they're finalizing. Um, the belief is they're finalizing pretty soon. I mean, uh, Levesque was at, was at Raw Monday, um, missed the one Raw, if you remember, because of where, whatever they were doing. I mean, these are, they're trying to close that deal. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. But, but Punk, Punk opened up what believe you know what may have been a shut door whether how open that door is or what what's going to transpire i don't know but punk you know i mean it's like he's a he's a significant player and that's one of the reasons he's going to be uh, at the house show in los angeles this week because i'm sure that the people who they are courting they're going to bring up you know everyone's headquarters is in la and i'm sure that they're going to invite everyone that they're courting there and you know figuring that they're going to see you know with punk and dom right you know, they pick the, the bright opponent for just a great reaction. Go like, look, this is what you're, this is what you're getting, and he's on this show. This is the show we're selling. So, you know, I mean, it's all coming down. Uh, you know, I mean, look, you know, the belief is it's coming down relatively soon. But I mean, it's one of those things. There's no rush either. Um, you know, it could come down in six months. But they're in negotiations, and AEW's in negotiations, and. Um, these negotiations are going to be gigantic to um, the future of wrestling in many ways, um, depending on who gets what, depending on the days of the week, depending on the counters, you know, I mean, I could see any, you know, there's, there's no, you know, obviously I don't expect SmackDown on Friday. I mean, it's not out of the question, but I don't expect it. Raw is not necessarily going to wind up on Monday. Uh, NXT may not wind up on Tuesday. AEW, obviously has to avoid i mean they don't have to avoid wwe but it would not be in their benefit i mean it, you know could they go the same night as nxt yeah they could and um you know i mean they were very successful in that and wwe probably it's 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 probably wouldn't look as bad i guess like let's just say they both ended up like both those shows on wednesday i mean um it's CW, so it's like a network versus cable. So it's not exact. So there's a bit, there would be a big advantage, but even with that advantage, you know, who knows how the outcome is going to be? And so that could be a very, good, you know, it, it could happen. I, I don't see it being smart for AEW to go head to head with Raw or, um, you know, or SmackDown. Um, but like I said, all of this is we're, we're as far as like the the stuff that we're talking about. That's all a 2025 story because 2024 is locked until um, end of September. Everything's going to be the same until end of September. Uh, then Raw will move to where so, um, or stay end of September. Everything um, in October, and you know that is basically you know right around then would be the last ditch thing. And then AW is in its spot until the end of the year, and then we'll see. You know, I mean, they. You know, I mean, they could be shopping around and should be shopping around. They should be shopping everything around, um, you know, including an attempt to get Ring of Honor somewhere. So, uh, you know, that's basically it. But, um, you know, I mean, Punk is, uh, you know, he's he's an important player. Whether that, you know, how this all turns out, you know, who knows? And, um, I mean, the raw number on Monday was interesting, too, because, 
it was back to what it was doing before Punk was there in his second appearance. But his quarter did phenomenal. But the rest of the show did not. So it was very much a thing of, and you had two football games instead of one. But even so, the combined audience of the two football games was not any more than most weeks. You know, it was in the same range, maybe, you know, lower than some weeks, higher than others. It was in the same range of what a lot of the, of the single games have been doing. So it's not like you go, well, no, there's two games instead of one, and that's why WWE was down. Um, you know, because, the again, competition number and, and all that, there have been many weeks above it. It's, it. It was normal, you know, normal slightly higher than normal levels. Um, and the, the raw number was, you know, 1,466,000.46, which is okay. I mean, even, you know, I mean, uh, against football competition, I would consider that fine. But, um, you know, they had a big, you know, big third hour drop. The Cody Nakamura match um, was down to 1,255,000 in the final quarter. And the, seven, and the 11th quarter was even lower than that, which would be one of the lower rated uh, final quarters in, in the history of Raw or lowest viewed final quotients or not rated, but viewed. So, um, you know, it was a normal pattern, but the, um, the punk and Seth Rollins thing, you know, was 1 million, viewers and, and 0.62, which is so far above the average. I mean, it was just incredible. So, um, they were, you know, they were interested in punk. It was the punk Rollins thing. It was being advertised as, you know, punks signing with what company, which is a big story. But it didn't lift the whole show. I mean, you know, it, it lifted. I mean, it, the, the rating obviously would have been much lower. I'm presuming if there had been no punk and none of that tease. But um, he didn't lift the rating like, you know, week one. And, um, you know, again, we'll see going forward with what that all means. But uh, so anyway, um, that's I don't know. You hear anything else? I have heard nothing else. Only what you uh, what you have heard. So. I think one way or the other, I mean, you know, it was it was a few weeks ago, actually, that we had heard that uh, the deal was very close, if not done. Clearly, it's not done. But I would think that uh, one way or the other, next couple of weeks, likely, we're going to probably know a lot more. Um, oh, I think that there'll be stuff um, in the next couple of weeks, for, you know, most likely, you know, and um, it could be final deal. It could be. You know, time will play out. We'll see what happens. Um, But, um, you know, I mean, it it could, like, you know, it could end up with the status quo. It's not impossible. It could end up with incredible differences, you know. Um, I mean, you know, I, you know, who, who, you know, it's it's, just got to wait, wait it out and and see. But um, I guess, you know, the main thing, though, is that, you know, WWE and, WB, and WBD is not a dead deal. I don't, you know, that's all. It's not a dead deal. And it appeared to be a dead deal before, you know, they, um, you know, what, you know, it would require, you know, WBD, you know, to spend, if they take the deal, you know, I mean, it would require them to, to WD to, to, I would say, well over 350 million a year. And you can look at what AEW would cost, which would be far less than that, obviously. But, you know, you're getting the number one brand, you know what I mean, which is worth something, too. Um, but there's also other bidders out there, you know. So, um, you know, and uh, WBD may not want to go that high anyway. So right now, it's just, you know, it's a wait. It's a, it's a wait. It's a wait and see. I would say that um, that with the new ownership, based on the fact that CW was not an exclusive deal in the sense that CW can put other wrestling on if they want. I don't know that they will, but they can. It's not exclusive for NXT. That I don't know that they're going to go with WBD and say, okay, we want to be exclusive. And also WBD has a lot of channels. You know, it's not just TBS and TNT and, you know, even those those are the, the key ones. I mean, there's, you know, Discovery and True and, you know, a million others. You know, I mean, they own tons of, tons of stations. So, you know, you, could, you have to factor in that. I don't think that, that WWE would demand exclusivity, and I don't know that WBD would let them demand exclusivity. At the same time, does that mean, you know, that they would want, you know, two, rest, two different wrestling products? I don't know that that's, you know, this is all wait and see. 
Or not just that. I mean, whether they want to or not. I mean, if they paid three hundred fifty, three hundred seventy million for Rock, can they afford to? Would they want to pay for two? Good. Uh, yeah. Obviously. Obviously. But and a lot of this depends on how much they have to pay for the NBA. You know, which is a, a key part of this whole equation, a big part, because the the cost of the NBA is going to be very, very high. They want to stay with the NBA on TNT. They absolutely want it. But the belief is, is that they will pay a similar amount for fewer games and that the NBA will should get games on different stations. Um, but it will be less games. So NBA would get more per game, but the station may not be spending that much more. But how that turns out, you know, the, and the NBA, it takes way precedence over any WWE deal, and it takes way precedence over any AEW deal. So, you know, that's the key deal. And then they just, got, they just had a NASCAR deal for some races as well. So, I mean, there's so many balls in play. Um, but, you know, it's, you know, it's uh, uh, you know, again, how these balls play out, that is that is the biggest, you know, probably the biggest news story this year. Orange sold the knee, which is, he got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked Matt Menard on said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's probably ROH. ROH. Are you smoking or what's what? happening here? I don't, what the fuck what is, is happening? I have no Bro. Clue. What is this? Dude. Like there's, I've changed nothing. Smoking is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors, too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I everyone's saying, this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh, my God. Maybe I open them. What is... There we go. The sun moved. Well, uh, yeah, the sun actually. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.